Hello guys, I'm back. Wanted to uh, kind of go over a few things that I've been doing over the last uh, week or so. As we near our thousands, thousands <laughs> subscriber, um, sitting at 9.99 right now, and I'd sure like to hit a thousand. So, if anybody likes what what they've been seeing so far, I'd certainly appreciate hitting that number. So. When we hit about 10, 10, I'll, uh, I'll have some kind of a contest. Haven't quite decided what we'll do yet. But anyway, back to today. Um, because I had a herniated disc, which I've herniated a second time, I, I have a hard time getting underneath the layout right now. And so I had not opted to, uh, you know, add... Uh, lighting to all the uh, different turnouts because I really do need to know the position of the turnout. So what I've been doing is opted for the uh, Caboose Industries uh, manual uh, thrown ones and uh, I've painted one side green for normal and the other side red for uh, uh, the uh, diverging route. So I'll, uh, I've taken some pictures, but I'll, I'll show you uh, uh, in a brief uh, uh, video what, what I've done. And uh, I did order about 19 more from uh, Pfeiffer Hobby, my, my favorite hobby store. And uh, we'll be getting those in and I'll continue working on the, uh, the peninsula section of the, uh, the layout. I do have some electronic turnouts, uh, but those are only in places where I cannot reach. So uh, the manual ones, eventually I'll go ahead and probably add that little circuit that I developed a year or so ago, uh, which was modified from a model railroad uh, article I had read about how to uh, show the indicated uh, turnout position with, with LEDs. But, uh, in the meantime, I can I can still see green and red even though I'm old. So, but anyway, I'll uh, get on with showing you what I've been doing. And uh, like I say, I appreciate all my subscribers and sure like to hit uh, a thousand shortly. Thank you. We'll see ya. Here is an example here of what I did with the uh, just a standard. Uh, I think this is a 218s. Caboose Industries ground throw. So the turnout, as you can see, is in the normal position. So I've got green. And then when I go to, if I flip it to the other side, it's red, and it'll go into the diverging route of the uh, this crossing. So what I've also done is on the other turnout, because there's no room to put one in here, nor, nor would I want to put one in the middle, I developed this uh, this little doohickey here. It's um, let me get the piece here. You can see it. This is an evergreen three thirty second tube, which is basically two point four millimeters. And um, what I I had had some other tube, but it's just too big to go under the track. So I just took a little bit of the cutting of the webbing out and then you slide it in. I need it to be from the edge of the, uh, uh, underneath the track here, uh, and then to the edge of the, uh, uh, the slope on the cork road bed. So that doesn't interfere when I have to bend it over to lock it down. So. See here is the green, and this is a 218S again. And so it's green, which meant it went straight. So when I, when I flip it, and I've used floral wire, you can see it's, this is floral wire. It comes all the way through. And then it, it connects in right here, and then connects in over here. And I've done this several times in the layout, and it, it works pretty good. And I'll be able to put the uh, the lighting like I did, uh, like I say, about a year and a half ago, into this so that I'll know which way the uh, the turnouts are uh, are turned. But for now, so if you look at this, this is red, and this is red over here for the for the crossing, 
and uh, that'll mean that this is the rut to be able to be used. And then if I go back and turn that one to green and turn this one to green, then we're in a normal position straight here and straight there. So like I say, I've done a bunch of them. Um, also, uh, in the meantime here, here's the new Morris station. I decided to run a commuter train there. So this is uh, something I've been working on uh, while stuff dries while I'm working in here. And there's a, there's a few of the turnout controls up there. Of course, these two here, that one. When I use the, uh, the 218S, as I might add, has a piece of plastic that goes into the holes where the nails go to kind of make it level with this. And so that works great for those. This is the, the 206S and it doesn't have that. So I had to put a piece of, I think it's 020 styrene underneath, which I do have a little bit of styrene around. Uh, and then put it underneath uh, to to get it to uh, level out. And then that one, that's red now, so it's on the diverging route. So, and then the, the companion to that one, since I had the room, is on the other side, which I can I can reach. Since this is maybe a foot wide to those turnouts, it's like 15 inches wide, this whole section. So, and then uh, I've done done more down here and like I say if I can reach the other side like here I can, I'll go ahead and do that um, don't need to necessarily run that plastic through there's one there there's, a, there's another one there and then I did a couple here and uh, another one over there and uh, I got three more I'm going to be working on um, in the future so but anyway that's kind of what I've been I've been working on um, I have plans to run uh, some commuter trains which I'll go to you notice I'm messing up the room again oh and also while I'm thinking about it is I went ahead and screwed down all the the river bottom uh, sealed it sealed it up with uh, painter's caulk because uh, eventually we will be putting some uh, water in there and in the river and I did that over in here and there were some places where I had a, had some gaps and I used some of this uh, it's like a fiber fill back behind it and then just put the uh, the uh, painter's caulk over the top of it and it, it hardened up pretty good. Ship is just docked up here for the time being. But anyway, I'm going to be running uh, some uh, commuter commuter trains. And what I had done was I had the, uh, you've seen my RDCs before. I got them um, set up for the Turtle Creek Central. They're my commuter railroad on, on my uh, railroad layout. Uh, and this is the, uh, I had gotten this, this is a Bachman uh, doodle bug with, a, with an extra car back in, uh, I think it was January. I got it for 60 bucks and it came with a decoder in it. So I could never figure out how to get the, uh, the shells off without breaking them because the instructions I saw I kept finding on the web never seemed to want to work right. Uh, and I just heard things moving that probably shouldn't have been moving and cracking. So I opted to use the uh, uh, alcohol 97% and uh, remove uh, just enough of the lettering where uh, I could I could uh, decal over the top of it. So I decaled the trailer car for uh, 132, and uh, I used I used the HO numbers because they're a little bit bigger. And they cover up a little bit more of the where I had to scrape off some of the paint. And then uh, this is the uh, the doodle bug itself, and it had a little bit of room, so I put a little bit more of the decals on there, and uh, also was able to get the number onto the uh, the front of the uh, doodle bug cab. So anyway, um, 
I've been working on a uh, schedule which is really a sequence and uh, they'll be running from staging through Union Station, Morris, Paradigm, and they'll end up over here at uh, San Angela. And uh, what I'll be doing here in the near future is a video on that uh, going both directions. So, uh, but anyway, we'll see you next time and sure hope I can get the uh, thousand uh, subscriber here shortly. Thanks guys. See you next time. Bye.